Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you guys how you can start streaming with your low end PC and also with an webcam overlay where you will be using your phone as your webcam. So without wasting any more time let's just get right into it. The software I recommend for streaming is OBS. The reason why I recommend OBS is because it's easy to use and I will show you guys how you can do it. The link of the software will be in the description box below. So after installing and opening the software you will come up to a page like this. Now everything might seem a little difficult to understand but it's not. So first what you want to do is add a source. Now in my case I'm going to use display capture but also you can use game capture if you want. Now what this will do is only capture your game while display capture will capture everything on your display. Now I think display capture is better because sometimes the games are not counted as games and thus nothing actually records. So just use display capture. So yeah obviously create new and here we are. Now I have a display with 1920 into 1080 resolution but the resolution you are using will come up here and of course obviously you want to capture the cursor okay now we have to go to settings so first you will come up to a general and nothing much here you have to do so then you want to go to stream and select which service you want now I usually stream at Facebook so I have Facebook live here but of course you can use Twitch or YouTube or Mixer whatever you want and of course server and stream key will be there and I'm going to trust you with this one that you can configure it yourself. Now comes to the output. Now you want to keep the output mode to simple because we're not going to do anything advanced for now. Now you want to select your video bitrate. Now I have it at 6000 kbps. Now this depends on your upload speed. Now if you have a good upload speed then you can obviously keep it higher but if you're not sure if your upload speed is good or not then you want to use a middle point like 4500 and I think it's a good middle point to use. But of course if you think that you, have, you don't have a good internet or your upload speed is not that fast then what you can do is use 2500. Now the higher the bitrate the better the quality of the stream will be but if you don't have a good internet and good upload speed then I think 2500 kbps is obviously good enough. But of course you can use the middle point which I said 4500. And you want to keep the hardware codec to NVNC because NVENC not the software one. And of course the audio bitrate would be 160 you don't have to care about it much. Now we are not recording so I am not going to go through this. Then you want to cut to audio and I think everything on the audio would be good. Now if your mic is not being captured then you want to select your microphone from here like real tech high definition audio and also you can select enable push to mute or push to talk. And now comes to the video. Now you want to keep the base resolution at what your monitor's resolution at like my one is 1080. So just keep the base resolution as it is. Now you want to change the output resolution if you want. Now I am going to stream at 1080p but if you are sure that your PC cannot handle streaming at 1080p then what you can do is stream at 1600 into 1900. So you can use 1600 into 1900 that would be better than 720p but of course if you are sure that your PC cannot handle this much resolution then of course you can use 720p but don't go lower than that. Then you want to select the common FPS value. Now if you have a good PC then obviously you can use 60 FPS but I don't have a good PC so I'm just going to use 30. Now you can select hotkeys if you want but I'm not going to do any of this. From here you can select a button for starting or stopping stream or starting recording, pause recording and stuff like that. In the advanced tab you can see the renderer and stuff like this and I think it's good enough so you don't have to work anything here. So after that just apply and hit OK. Now you want to select your webcam. Now what you want to do for that is install an app called DroidCam. Now you have to install it both on your PC and your phone and it will be linked in the description as always. You can connect it with Wi-Fi if you have good Wi-Fi connection and also the Wi-Fi has to be connected on both the phone and the PC. Now in the app you will get an IP address of the phone. So you want to put that IP right here and start streaming. I mean start the webcam and as you can see it has started to capture my phone. Now of course I don't have a tripod and you want to set it on a tripod. So after that what you have to do is go to OBS and from sources just add another and select video capture device and hit OK. And here you will see the device which is DriveCam Source 3 and just hit OK. 
and here we have our webcam overlay now you can obviously change the shape I want to keep it a little small now I think it gets kind of weird so I'm going to minimize this and as you can see we have our webcam overlay and from here you can start streaming now so yeah I guess this was it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video